What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about some Microsoft rumors. Uh, this came out later in the day yesterday. I'm sorry it took me so long today. I was waiting. I was saying, okay, well, does Koch Media do anything? Uh, is 12 minutes? Like, did they give a release date? The answer to that one, by the way, is no. So I was like, okay, I'll bring you guys this. So Jeff Grubb yesterday talked about some studios that he's heard that Microsoft is looking to purchase. Or actually, not even that, that they have purchased. That It's already happened in the background, and they're just waiting to announce it. So I'll kind of pad the story in case you guys uh, missed out on it. It could be even more than three studios, but he said the names. We'll talk about the names, and then you know. And he was not very sure about it. Granted, he was not sure. He said he has got no idea if it's actually real. It's just some names that he's heard about. Okay, but I want to talk about it. Talk about what it means if Microsoft does buy these. Uh, whatever they are is most likely going to get announced on Sunday. So, uh, really quick before I jump into you know the leaks and all that kind of stuff, make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon, very important. A lot of the videos over the next couple days is not going to give a notification anyway. Way, but still would be nice to have you guys get notifications okay leave a like would definitely help if you want to support us on patreon or youtube memberships they're both open they're both uh, the exact same thing just in two different spots patreon links in the description join button is obviously right next to the subscribe button if you guys want to check it out i'd be grateful and final thing i know i'm talking i haven't taken a breath in like 30 minutes uh, final thing I am going to co-stream both Ubisoft show tomorrow as well as Microsoft or Xbox Bethesda on Sunday. So we will be co-streaming the entire show. I'll go live 15, 20 minutes before it on Sunday. So if you guys want to watch it and you're planning on watch it, come hang out with me. We'll all watch it together. I stay quiet when the show's going on and all that stuff, okay? Sorry you know, for the super long opening. Cue the comments that say video starts at the 158 mark. I hate people that do that. But any, uh, you know, maybe that's a little aggressive. Whatever. Okay, so Jeff Grubb said, IO Interactive, Avalanche, which is the maker, not Avalanche Software, Avalanche Studios, which is the makers of Just Cause, and Crytek, obviously Crisis, okay? So, and IO Interactive, Hitman, they're the rumored um, dragon game, right, that's going to be like an RPG for Microsoft, that'd be an exclusive game, but they're also working on other things that we heard were not exclusive, okay? Obviously, Crytek does Crisis and a couple other things, and then you have um, Avalanche, again, who did Just Cause. Technically, I believe they helped with, what, Rage 2? I believe they helped Bethesda with Rage 2, so they've done a couple other things, but they're most well-known for Just Cause. Okay, so that's huge. Now, I guess to, to pad it, to catch you guys up, rumor is Microsoft's bought at least three studios. Now, it keeps changing because some people have said they bought three studios. Some people have said they've bought five. Okay, so it's one of the two. Maybe it's four. Maybe it's, you know, it could be any uh, any in-between number, okay? But there were rumors that they weren't going to announce it at E3. Now the rumor is they are going to announce it at E3, okay? Hard to keep track when there's so many people that think they know what they're talking about, and they probably do, but they contradict each other, so technically they all don't exactly know what they're talking about, okay? Um, and a way to validate this in case people are like, oh, well, is that a lie? Is that not true? Yesterday, when Microsoft put out, and it was yesterday morning, when Microsoft put out like the statement talking about they're committed to consoles, they're going to make a new console, you know, and they, and they committed to gaming as well, right? Phil Spencer did that thing. In the press release, in like the article, they said themselves more than 23 studios. Now, they own 23 studios. So the fact that they said more than means that they have bought studios behind the scenes that they just haven't said yet. It, because you could have said 26. Well, technically, they could have said 23. We have 23 studios because that's how many they have. But instead, they said more than, which actually keeps it ambiguous because it could be 26 or it could be 28. Okay? Now, in terms of the studios they'd be buying, Jesus Christ. I mean, maybe I could just end the video on that. You know what I mean? Jesus would be impressed with the studios that they're looking at. All right? I mean, IO Interactive, it's big. Now, here's the deal. Are all of these studios for everybody? Does everybody play Hitman? No. Does everybody play uh, Just Cause? No. Does everybody play Crisis? No. And I'm only listing, you know, obviously they've done other stuff as well. But, are, you know, is it for everybody? No. But they possess a lot of talent. I would argue specifically not to put down Avalanche because Just Cause is a good game. I, I truly, uh, Just Cause is a fun game. It's something you don't have to think too hard about. It's easily the weakest though. It's the weakest of those three teams. IO Interactive, Hitman 3 was phenomenal. Crisis, I mean, 
Crisis is really good. I like Crisis a lot. And Crytac in general, I mean, Crytac is a is a pretty powerful company, okay? So if those are the three teams, or and you see, it's tough to, like, they're not developers. I think Avalanche uh, technically would be, right? They're kind of independent, um, and they're the smallest of them. IO Interactive has, like, four or five different teams, and Crytac is pretty big, too. So, like, when you're buying them, you're not buying, like, a Bethesda, but you're not buying one team. You're not buying, like, Insomniac, which is one, you know, technically there's a couple teams in there, but, like, one studio, okay? Now, let me say this, and I said this to my friend online, and I know I'm gonna get hate, and I, I know it, I know it, okay? Because here's what's gonna happen. There's gonna be, it says, this has already happened by the time you guys made it to this point. There's gonna be people in the comments saying, there's gonna be people starting a console war. There's gonna be people saying, like, Microsoft's gonna take over, or Microsoft's the winner, or Microsoft's elite, all that stuff. And then they're gonna get into fights with people that are PlayStation, all that stuff. Well, I do wanna make this clear, and I say this every time, and it probably gets annoying to people that do watch all my videos, but there's always new people, and also I think people just flat out don't listen sometimes, okay? Not specific people, but just people in general, okay? Uh, so... I am not a console worst. I, I hate it. I hate it when there's an announcement for one or the other, and when you look at the replies, like on Twitter or the YouTube comments, it's just people going at each other. I think it's the stupidest thing in the world. I think they're literally video games. We love them. We love to play them. Doesn't matter where they are. Why do we need to get into fights? That's what I think every time. Now, was I like that at some point? Well, I didn't leave comments and stuff, but I did think that when I was younger. Maybe you have to hit your 20s to, to, to learn. Okay, Maybe that's the case. But I've said it before. I go where the games go. If Microsoft bought 50 studios and there's games that come out, I will find a way to play them. Whether it's a PC, whether it's an Xbox, I will find a way. PlayStation, if they have one good game, just one, I will find a way to play that game on a PlayStation. No, I, I have a PlayStation, but you know what I mean? you get what I'm say saying? Nintendo Switch. I if there's a good game that I like, I will get I will figure it out. Now again, I have the Switch, but you guys get my point. That's how I do it. That's in my opinion, the best way of doing it. I'm very much pro not telling you guys what to do, okay? Very much pro, like, freedom. You guys think for yourselves. You guys act for yourselves. But in this case, I highly suggest you think how I do in this way, where it's like, just love games. Just love games. Don't, don't care about the company. But here's the thing I do want to say, and this isn't taking a side, even though it may sound like I'm taking Sony's side. Bear with me. Listen throughout the whole thing. Don't click off now, okay? Listen. So I hate it the most when people, specifically Microsoft people, and it's not because they're Microsoft people, when they say, well, it's only fair. <laughs> okay, here's the problem. Companies can do whatever they want. I have no problem with Microsoft buying 50 studios, okay? Technically, I do have a problem with that, but it's more of like a monopoly problem versus them just doing it, okay? Whenever Microsoft buys studios, Xbox people go crazy. And it's odd because they were so against Sony doing it. Actually, you can take a step back further. I don't even have to finish my thoughts. Of, I had a whole plan. But in reality, just be fair. If you celebrate it, and this goes for Sony. I'm not saying this is just a Microsoft thing. If you celebrated Sony buying studios, you should celebrate Microsoft buying studios. If you hated Sony doing it, you should hate Microsoft. They're, and when you say fair, do math. Okay, I'm just going to leave that out there because when people say it's only fair that Microsoft bought Bethesda because, well, Sony has Spider-Man or Sony did this or Sony. Well, Microsoft's got 23 teams. They're about to have 26 to 28. Sony's got like 12 or 13. So Microsoft's more than doubled them. So where is it? Tell me in the comments. Where is it fair that that's at? And again, like people are going to say, oh, my God, you're so pro PlayStation. Listen to the first five minutes of the video. I don't care where the games are. I'm going to play them. But if we're talking about fairness, it's not fair at all. Microsoft has way more studios. It's just the fact that they don't have games yet. But they're going to have an avalanche of games. And then it's most certainly not going to be fair. Now, does it need to be fair? No. No one ever said it had to be fair. I never said that. People said that, though. And then they'll backtrack, right? People don't really stay on their words. I pride myself on saying something. And do I stick to it? Oh, yes, I do. Did I stick to Horizon? Not, I'm not me, uh, me not liking it on PS4? Yeah. Did I get hate a year ago? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do I still say it now and still get hate? Yeah, but at least you can hopefully respect that I believe in something and I'm following through. I'm not going to jump off because it doesn't look good. I'm not going to jump off because, you know, other people don't like it or like it. I'm sticking with my, like, my own, like, because I have a brain, my own thoughts, okay? So 
yes, is the second half of this video more of like a lesson of how to be nice to each other? It absolutely is, because people need to learn that. Um, it's just, I have no problem with it. I do have a problem with a future. Let me say this. This is very important, and I know I left it to the 10 minutes. Nobody's going to make it this far, but I don't want a future where every studio is owned by a... Like, if, if, if in five years, Microsoft has 60 teams... Sony's got 35, EA bought a couple, Square Enix bought a couple, and there's like no middle people. I don't, I hate that world. Actually, I despise it, okay? Now, do you have people that have kind of grown out of nowhere and taken up all these middle people? Yeah, there's some companies out there that have just bought double A developers, that they have like 60 of them, okay? So, do I think it's necessarily going to happen? No, but the way Microsoft's moving... It seems like you're either going to get owned by Microsoft, Sony, EA, Ubisoft, uh, you know, stuff like that, or, you know, a couple other others, other uh, middlemen almost, or you don't even exist at all. And I don't, I will say, you know, I don't care who buys who and how many one has versus the other because I don't participate in console wars, but I do have a problem with monopolies and, and that kind of issue, and that's where I kind of see this going. And that I also haven't that I have an issue with. Okay, I guess I'll be flat on. So, do I love Microsoft buying like three to five companies at a time? No, I actually don't. But it's not because I'm like pro Sony and it's like oh Sony's falling behind. It's kind of just because okay, leave them alone. Like let them. And I understand that they do let them do their own thing. But I, uh, you know, I think eventually maybe that would stop. And I, I mean, I don't know. The the answer is I don't know. So. Big news. We'll see if it happens. We'll see if there's two additional ones. We'll see if these were all wrong in the first place and there's three completely other ones that we don't know about. We'll have to see. I'm sure we'll find out Sunday, most likely. If not, then probably this upcoming week. Um, but let me know what you guys think about the leaks. Let me know what you guys think about the console wars part. Sorry about it. Maybe I'll make a video one day just entirely on my opinion on the console wars and we can kind of leave it all out in that video and then i won't talk about it again well, well let me know if you guys like that idea so make sure subscribe bell icon again we have patreon we have youtube memberships we have twitter we have a second channel all that stuff i'm going to be live streaming ubisoft microsoft's e3 lots of things coming over the next couple days i hope to see you guys there